Well, hello and welcome to another episode of HLBS. Excuse me. Ah, damn. I'm budding. That's chubby. I mean, Jim. Jim. <laughs> or maybe it's me that was. I chubby. was sucked in as far as it would go. <laughs> well, I had. I was a distance from the table. Um. Well, welcome back to High Living on the Bottom Shelf. Uh, this is F1 Season 2. Wow, it is. It's Season 2. Yeah. We ended last... Uh, we ended Season 1 with a little Jack Daniels talk. Bottle and Bond. Bottle and Bond. Bond proof. And, and, very tasty. Uh, regular uh, old number 7. And uh, found out that we were... Um, Squires. Squires, which I'm happy to announce that my daughter is now a squire. And we've already put in for the grandchildren to be squires. Yes. So um, And then we're coming out with that same tattoo. Yeah. That's, I told that's, my daughter, where are you putting it? Third generation, that's actually a birthmark. It is. But, um, so, what have you been doing all winter? Working. I get, I, I, that's a terrible word, I know. but How was your dry January? <laughs> it went into February... My January was quite damp. So you had a damp... I had a damp January. My drive was not on purpose. I just was working too much. Mm. But that's all right, Rob. That's not, I'm not bitching, moaning, or complaining. Uh, Jason Isbell sang a song about it. That's right. I'm just like <laughs> you have the work. Thankful for the work. But um, season two, um, well, it is still kind of what, late winter? It is, but it's hot as shit here. Yeah, it's pretty warm in here. But so um, we are, we're going to do more field trips. Oh, absolutely. Field trips. I'm still looking for a, a, a bigger tractor than the one he was on. Kind of hard to find. Uh, I asked my wife if I could have a tractor. She hasn't said yes, but she hasn't said no. If she hasn't said no. There's a chance. There's always a chance. But <clears throat> did, you, did you run the cold air induction by yeah, three hundred seventy nine dollars. No, but did you run it by the? the no, computer? I had no. I have to slip just, that one in. Just slip it in with the stereo. Uh, she doesn't know that could be part of a subwoofer. Yes. A cold air induction for the subwoofer. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. Um, so, um, old eighteen eighty nine. <clears throat> That's what we're going to drink tonight. Not a lot of information on it, other than they have a twelve year old somewhere that uh, uh, is is really sought after so um after looking at this bottle i was a little confused because this um whiskey here is set up just like uh kentucky i mean not uh, it's made in kentucky but it's set up like a tennessee whiskey it's charcoal filter it's 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 actually put into uh gotta forget the uh i didn't write that shit down it's new white oak cast. Charred white oak cast. One year. Years. And then it's it's brought to Kentucky for aging. It's kind of... But it was it was distilled in Kentucky also. It just went to another location. Oh, yeah. there's It's a Heaven Hill product. Uh, you know what my dad said about Heaven Hill? Thank heaven? No, my dad always said, that's smooth booze. Well, they make everything now. Mm -hmm. Almost everything's a Heaven Hill product. But, uh, so, I, there was <clears throat> something we need to get into. Already, before we finish that? Well, we don't have to taste that yet. We'll just, <clears throat> we don't, <clears throat> but... Um, All right, well, you run the show. It's the second you. season. He's in charge. I'm taking over. Um, there's been a lot of questions, and I think we need to answer at least one set of the questions tonight. Okay, shoot. Our show ending. What about it? What does it mean? The show ending? Oh, well, shit, let's go to that. We got video. To, uh, so what? what's the first part? The first part is motor down. Motor down, okay. Well, let's see what that means. Hey, Jim, put your motor down. Down? Yeah. I guess he wonders why the thing only goes 15 miles an hour. Does that work? More. One more? 
Yes, sir. <coughs> All right. Now that we've got that out of the way, now you understand what that means. Quick story. We're going out in this boat. Man, I'm not a small guy. Not as big as what his boat made me out to be. He takes off and the boat's going, <laughs> and he goes, man, it doesn't usually do this. And he's looking at me funny. I only brought six beers, so it's nothing. She was bogging down. And I said, put your motor down. He had that thing up. He was throwing a damn rooster tail out. And he's just doing this, right? People behind us were running. So that that's the motor down. What's, what's, the, what's the next one? You know, um, kickstand up. Yeah. Look at this video. Hey, hey, put your kickstand, kickstand up, up, up. Fucking jackass. You saw what I saw. I've seen that more than once. Sparks are usually flying when I take <laughs> off on the mini bike. I think he believes it's going to save him time when he gets home. He can just step off the bike. I about got that kickstand wore out. Usually that's from taking turns too sharp. Mm -hmm. And it goes, katink. <laughs> I pulled out of here today and I did it. And I'm going, I hope he's not watching. But uh, then the last one was uh, twist the lid. Yeah. Check this out. Then Jimmy. Damn it, Jim, twist the lid. Now that you've seen that, let me tell you what. That didn't just come from me. I've come to find out. It happens with everything at his house, wherever he's gone, he won't tighten that lid down. We have a fourth one coming up that, uh, you notice he's smoking a cigar right now. Put the flame out before you stick it in your pocket. I need to abbreviate that so we can put it to the <coughs> ending, but all of these are his habits, not mine. <coughs> Evidently, I had a problem, okay? Which one? When you lit yourself on fire or... Twist the well, lid? Or? So it was nice out, and I was going to go on a mini bike ride. So, you know, I had the mini bike running and pulled a cigar out, lit the cigar. I stuck the lighter in my pocket and took off riding. And all of a sudden, the flames were coming out of the pocket of the jacket. <laughs> I had a napkin in there. It burned right through my car heart. That was impressive. And the inside is all melted. Yeah, he came over and said something weird to me. He goes, hey, I know it sounds weird, but stick your hand in my pocket. Yeah. it's. And without thinking, I just, okay. It was a mess. It, it was, um, it, well. It felt like napalm was in there. We, um, okay, so there, well, actually, but, there actually is film on this. Yeah, kid's coming. So let's talk about the old 1889. I mean, enough about me. You started it. <clears throat> I know I did. All right. Heaven Hill product. This is ringing at 80 proof. That's a handle that, that came in at 20 bucks. If it tastes like anything, it's worth it. So, but it is a, a, a sour mash, straight Kentucky bourbon. Charcoal filtered. It's all over the place. It's charcoal filtered. It's got the sour <laughs> mash. It's got the uh, uh, the straight Kentucky bourbon, which actually the rules are different for that. It can only be age two, but that's age three. Can we get um, barbecue charcoal from old 1889? <laughs> but you know what? What is? I can't read that. It, it won some state fair. I don't know how long ago. Best best days. And I love in the back, okay, what, it's, what, it, what it claims. It says, taste never varies. You can take that a couple of ways. Our taste never varies, or the way that taste never varies. I don't know. But uh, we're going to attempt to elevate this uh, today. Yes, we've got rid of the Dixie Cups. And we're going to try to elevate our cheap uh, whiskeys. We're going to give them every chance in the world. Because... Not that we're going to change the board or anything, but... No, but you do remember what those... Uh, you could put anything in one of those little Dixie cups, and it's going to taste like the Dixie cup. Yeah, it, it tastes like you're rinsing your mouth after brushing your teeth. So, you know what? Uh, I believe that we've refined our palate so well that we could taste the good and the bad through the Dixie cup. And through my cigar. Well... That alters the flavor. 
Now, let's give it a nose. All right, it's not just all ethanol. Mm. It's kind of fruity. Mm -hmm. Kind of smell the streets of Lexington, Kentucky in there. Oh, you, you put your nose in the middle. Oh, in the middle. Sorry. No. <laughs> a little bit of Harlan County in there. Wow, it's got quite a bite for an 80 proof. It's drinkable. It's, it is drinkable. What do you like to say? I ain't hating it? I ain't hating it. I ain't loving it yet. Uh, no. But um, give it a minute. Let it... I expected it to be mellowed a little more being going through the charcoal. Well, maybe it needed to go twice. It does say mellow a couple of times on the bottle, how yeah. mellow it is. Mm. I don't know what they were drinking before. That was just some... Although, check out the, 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 the finish. Some adjectives they threw in there. No, but once you got through that initial thing, and, you know, it, it's, a, it's burning a lot more than 80 proof should have. Yeah, but I like it. Yeah, just, just hold out for a minute. I'm digging it. And you, you get kind of an apple kind of a thing going on. Thank God there's none of that vanilla in there. And, and no caramel. No no caramel. Oh, yeah. we, we got that <laughs> debate. I don't know what it is. I like I, this. It, it might be from where you're from. It's not. There, I don't taste any Rolos in it. No. I did have a Snickers early. See if I can catch any of that coming out. We stuck in my tooth. Yeah, he didn't share either. <clears throat> I like it. I like it. I would drink it. I think it could... Um, you know, I like it better than half of what's up on that board. I, I think you may be surprised but, at my... Uh, but since we haven't looked at the board, I haven't even looked at the board in two months. And it's hanging in your house. I know. Oh, that's right. You haven't been here. That's right. <laughs> so, he usually cheats. I and mean, he doesn't... Look, we all know the family favorite. And I've been drinking the family favorite all day. True. True. Okay. Uh, that's a nice sweet... That Definitely, you want to mix that with something. If you, if you mix it with something... Like some lemonade could be some. You know what? I might put I might put some of this on uh, Paul Paul's grave. Oh, he'll enjoy the the eighteen eighty. I think Paul Paul be a, a, he'd be excited with this. Uh, newsflash! I'm going to order it. Order what? If we're not sponsored. The square keg. The square keg. I didn't send you the, the link. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh shit! It's a hundred twenty eight ounce keg. Uh huh. That you fill. Right. With whatever you want. Beer. Give me beer. Fill it with mixed drinks. Then you put the CO2 in it. It's a little square job about this big. You stick it in your cooler. It's got a, either a hose or a tap, whichever one you want to use. And then you've got 128 ounces that has now been carbonated. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, anyway. <coughs> I'm excited. <coughs> please, thought, please buy it so I can give it a try. I am going to buy it. Well, um... Let me tell you what Actually, I, I like this. Okay, I like it too. I like it better after I've drunk. After it's gone down, it's got the burn, but the burn doesn't linger. No, the flavor comes right through. Wow, for twenty bucks. Yeah. Let me tell you what. I'm in. Shoot. <clears throat> it can see it's not too sweet. <clears throat> no, it's not sweet at all. It's good. I like it. Well, it's getting hot in here. No, I'm not taking off. <laughs> I know he, that was a look. <clears throat> well, he he said he was gonna. He was asking me what. Uh, <laughs> he was asking what swimsuit should he wear. And I said, go with the salmon. I said, sea foam would work, look better. I don't have a tan. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, shoot. I mean, look. We're trying to abbreviate these, and it never works. I'm sorry if it goes a little long, but you can always fast forward through the stuff um, that you'll find interesting. I think we should rate it. I think we should rate this. I'm not, I'm not going to look at yours. I tell you what, I've got my rating. It, it's uh, I don't know. I, I could surprise you here. You never do. I know exactly what I <coughs> what I think is going Put on. Put the camera. Oh shit! Seven one seven nine. This one we haven't had one come bump something off in a while. 
Where's still that? Yeah, we are. Oh, we yeah, got we a 6'8 down here. Oh, the Dickel is just going away? The, the Ezra Brooks is going away. That's one of my everyday drinkers. The Ezra's going away. Do the math again. Don't just do it in your head. Ezra's gone. Well, I enjoyed that. It's good. And obviously, you did too. I enjoyed it because too. Because you're a little rough on these whiskeys, even though they're cheap. Well, I'm a wimp. So, you know. This make you, you're just rough on their flavor. No, this one, um, it, you, you get the burn, but the burn dissipates very quickly. It does. It, just, it goes away and it, it leaves behind a flavor, which a lot of times, the burn, by the time the burn goes away, it's left behind nothing but a, a callus. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I think we're left with, um, look at, and everybody take a look at this goodness. I think we're going to, th this is not, this is not going to, this is going to have to be, uh, Tony's going to have to be here for that. This is going to have to be devoured because the river share of the creek juice here is, uh, is, is she's filling up. Well, you know, you know, I took, I, I, I hope I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, so good. I took some of the original, I added it into this. Now we're gonna to have to blend these two bottles, some of these two of the big bottles. There were three. There's two. No, three. I swear there's two, but I'll put three. I promise it's three. We're, we're gonna go back and check the videotape. Wait, there's no videotape. We're gonna go back and check the video. Yeah, tape went out. That shows your age. Yeah. That's pretty damn old. <laughs> but, I'll check um, the answer machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See if anybody was trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> Look at this. Ah! Okay. So, um, do you have a song for us? Shit, yeah, dude. This song comes from a, a, a group that's uh, new to me. Uh, it's called Them Dirty Roses is the band. The song is Cocaine and Whiskey. Great song. It's an uplifting song. Well, not really. Yeah, about as much as it could be. It's not as as bad as the... Uh, I put old 1889 above Old Crow. There you go. How about that? And, you know, we did Old Crow Medicine Show for... for and we, we did. <clears throat> so and so this was a good song. We listened to it right, right prior to coming in here. Realized we had been hearing this song, but we didn't realize who uh, the artist was. Yep. But um, i got to break in with this. Break it in. Because... Um, there's, there's a guy out there singing now who I think is unbelievably good. I like his wife. And, uh, it's, uh, laid back country picker or LB for short, or some people call him Chico. Yep. His wife is honey. She plays drums, guitar, bass, whatever she needs to do in her moo, moo. And I know that you've seen her. Because she's doing it all with curlers, big big curlers in her hair. She got the pink curlers going. Yep, and, and sunglasses, and a look on her face that says, "You will like what I'm serving you." So she, yeah, she, she's, <laughs> she's honey, and her real name, I believe, is Teresa. But here, I got laid back. Somehow, I got to get this video to you because I'm making a plea to you. Do you have come play in our backyard? No, if he, LB, awesome, Chico. If you need a bass player, I'm your man, okay? I'm your man. I'll go Kentucky, Tennessee, Texas, wherever you need me to go. I got to get in touch with you. I'll send you my resume. He's got a resume. And um, LB, I got to play with you. I'm just saying it. I got my old Telecaster bass. Don't tell him you got to play with him. Play bass with him. I'm going to play bass for you. <laughs> But if I need to play drums or acoustic guitar, because I don't want to step on Honey's toes. Anyway. Hey, that's that's awesome. I think, you know, we not a whole lot. It, was a, it wasn't a very exciting winter. Nothing happened. Yeah, pretty much nothing happened. But season two's here, so. We got plans. Yeah. How many? We had 19 episodes in season one. I think 20. 20. So we got a, got a lot of work to do. We should get one every two weeks. Yeah, yes. We got to get this going. So here we go. Now you know. Motor down. Kickstand up. Twist, twist the, the lid. lid. Put the shit out before you put it in your pocket. It's a problem. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>